I wanted to give a brief uh, demonstration of the corner tool in Affinity Designer. Over here on the left, you'll see the corner tool is the fourth tool down on the left. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with just the basic rectangle. If you select the corner tool, you can click on an object, pick a corner, and drag, and that will uh, adjust the roundness of that corner. Uh, you've got some options here at the top again. Uh, looks like you can change the, uh, the shape of that corner. Uh, oops. Again, you would uh, select the corner nodes. Uh, when a corner has been rounded by the corner tool, you'll see it changes from just a standard node to this uh, node with a circle around it. And you can shift select corners and adjust multiple corners at once. And it looks like those corners can be uh, different shapes based on what you have selected up here in the toolbar. So let's go ahead and do a squared corner on this. And round those out, or flatten those off. And you can also enter a value here. So if you've edited another corner and you know what that value is and want to come back and edit this one later or multiple others, you can select it and then type in the value as well. Now that works for uh, more complex shapes as well. So let's go ahead and turn on the next layer here and select this shape. And again, if we select multiple nodes, if we drag select, actually, let's do that and shift drag select to make sure we've got them all. That's kind of kind of messed up, but you get the idea. There we go. And additionally, if you wanted to edit text, you can actually select the text and convert that to Oops, let me grab my selection tool. You can convert that text to curves and then ungroup it. And that would be um, under the, where's it at? Actually, it'd be under the layer menu uh, and then you would ungroup, but I did it with a, a, a keyboard shortcut. Then select your corner tool and select a corner and you can round out the corners or square them or stair step them. Again, very, very easy tool to use. If you have additional questions or are looking for a different tutorial or have suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Thanks.